Hey guys, thank you so very much for stopping in. Uh, in this video, I wanted to go over the quite substantial amount of content that we got shown today in the Call of Duty blog post. So first, I'm gonna go over the zombies content, and then in a separate video, I will go over the war zone and the multiplayer content. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so first what we have here is an image that seems to be showing what looks to be Al Bagra Fortress. Now, right off, this doesn't really bode well because usually people, you know, were kind of tired of the reused content and all that stuff. However, I will say, as sad as I am to see that we're definitely reusing a map from Modern Warfare 2, I am a little excited because what they've done to it looks to be substantial. So hopefully this is a changed enough version that people aren't going to be too dissatisfied. Also, it seems to be like some sort of dark aether crystal operator skin. He's got like a little little teddy bear here and they kind of did this, I think, in Cold War as well. And then, of course, we have big giant dark aether crystals and a bunch of little ones growing all over the place. All right. So we have a new story act coming with this season one. A massive gateway has appeared in the exclusion zone investigate the area and engage in new end game content so essentially what they're doing is they're introducing a new teleporting mechanic where you can go to a dark aetherized version of al bagra and inside is maybe going to be the round based that that we've been getting teased but let's let's read on a little bit more a new labyrinth like experience challenging squads to complete a series of objectives in the given time find sigils to unlock dark aether rifts and earn rewards on completion okay so it seems like similar to how building 21 worked in DMZ, we're going to have to go in and do some sort of grind to get access to the Dark Rift. I don't think we're going to be able to just go directly into it. New Wonder Weapon, Warlord, and more. Wield the VR-11 Wonder Weapon, discover new schematics, and prepare to infiltrate the fortress of the Warlord Dokebi. I guess we're bringing in Rainbow Six Siege or something. Okay, so, whoa. See, that looks cool. And what do we got, like a... Like a plane? That's like half a plane right there. Okay. As operators continue to push forward into the exclusion zone, a new anomaly appears. Sent to investigate, Operation Deadbolt strike teams are pulled through to the other side in their first major encounter inside the Dark Aether. Expect a new story mission that begins the next act of content and with tasks that will test your abilities in the fights ahead. Season 1 update brings with additional challenges and rewards, including new prestige challenges to explore. That's a win. A new warlord to battle. That's pretty cool. An exciting new wonder weapon. Yeah, that's all right. It's not really new new uh new schematics and acquisitions new secrets we love secrets and introducing the deadly but lucrative dark aether rifts okay so sounds like there's going to be some good rewards for those that finish it okay oh that looks very origin-esque if you know what i'm talking about interesting dark aether rifts bring rewards to those who brave their challenges these otherworldly labyrinths are located inside the dark aether where players and their squad have 30 minutes ah uh, to complete a series of increasingly chaotic objectives to earn exceptional rewards find sig to unlock the dark aether rift and face new level of challenge all right so that kind of sucks not round base 30 minutes but as long as that 30 minutes is hell i might be okay with it oh here we go i'm loving the new look season one brings the new vr 11 wonder weapon turn enemies into allies with the powerful vr 11 shoot zombies and transform them into humans or blast humans to mutate them into friendly zombies all right okay as you might expect transform humans join you in the fight drawing the attention of nearby zombies while transforming zombies will commence their ceaseless hunt for your enemy's flesh weird kind of almost sound like a pvp element in there but we know that's not the case so for those that are, may not be aware the reason why i say this isn't technically a new weapon is because we've had the vr11 before this was a weapon back in black ops 1 and it was a wonder weapon that did just that exactly as it does now it turns zombies into humans now they're adding the extra element of turning humans into zombies that's pretty cool all right and now we're getting into the really good stuff so let's go ahead and get into this so we have dog bones. Consume the dog bone to summon the strongest friendly hellhound companion. This pet hellhound will follow you and attack nearby threats until health runs out. Okay, so essentially, without having to get in and farm yourself three pieces of meat, run to the red zone, get the level three dog. Instead, you can spawn in with a crafted bone and fetch yourself the dog from the beginning of the match. That's pretty cool. A little interesting, a little interesting gameplay change there. Golden armor plates. Consuming the new golden armor plate replaces the armor carrier with plates that automatically repair over time in addition to providing additional damage resistances okay so i wonder if that's going to be like so if you put in the golden armor plate you just get these automatically repairing plates but what if you break all your plates and you want to put more in do you have to wait for the recharge like just run around screaming waiting for your ammo to recharge or is it like used up and then you just put in normal armor okay aether blade the aether blade is a special throwing knife with infinite ammo and a boomerang like combat style okay 
So exactly like the Hell's Retriever or the Hell's Redeemer. We've had these before. They were tomahawks. So that's pretty cool. I like that. All right. Warlord Dokebi from Rainbow Six Siege. Hoping to counter Operation Deadbolt's technological advantage in the exclusion zone, Jack Fletcher will deploy another one of his lieutenants to the battle space in the coming weeks. South Korean-born Dokebi will bring with her an intimate understanding of electronic warfare and a fleet of self programmed autonomous drones ready to wreak carnage on Operation Deadbolt operatives from the sky. I will say, right off the bat, I'm not excited about aerial drones. It sounds like it's going to be very annoying. All right, so as a little bonus here, it seems we have some zombie stuff for Christmas. Now, this explains it as a war zone thing. It says, Sleigh Ride. Santa has taken over the train in Urzikstan. Per his usual modus operandi, Santa will be handing out presents to all the well-behaved operators he meets. Those who choose to be naughty, on the other hand, will be met with heavy resistance. Essentially, what is happening is you'll be able to go in and earn a ticket through a merry portal and and you get to go fight a juggernaut zombie Santa who's on a train filled with zombies that, as you can see here, are decked out in Christmas attire. So that's going to be fun. I assume it will also carry over to the full zombie map because in Cold War, they had a Christmas event with zombies where all the zombies were wearing uh, Santa hats, as you see here, and the snowball thing was there as well. You could pick up snowballs and chuck them at the zombies. So that's probably coming back too. So that's pretty cool that they do that. I like to see these little seasonal events from Call of Duty. All right, well, that about wraps up the zombies content from this here update. So what it seems like is they have a good amount of content planned for us and they have content planned for people that are either done with the missions or not because they've also mentioned that the missions aren't going away so if you haven't finished season one you don't have to skip it you can go back and still finish season one so hopefully this is all good stuff and hopefully this information reaches the correct people and if you like this video we'll like this video hit that subscribe button and thank you so very much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video